Welcome to this video abstract on Rydberg state creation by tunnel ionization. When a strong laser pulse is applied to an atom, the atomic Coulomb potential is tilted and an electron can tunnel through the potential barrier. Then it oscillates in the laser field until the laser pulse has passed. In a third step, the electron can either escape the parent ion, it can be caught in a bound Rydberg state, or the electron can recollide with the parent ion, resulting in a number of important phenomena, most notably high harmonic generation. Both the number of Rydberg states and the number of high harmonic generation events strongly decline with increasing ellipticity of the laser. While both processes show similar dynamics transverse to the electric field, explaining the similar dependence on ellipticity, they have different dynamics longitudinal to the laser field because the ionization occurs in different parts of the optical cycle. Neglecting the ion field during the pulse, the electron trajectory in the laser field can be approximated analytically. After the laser pulse, the electron has gained a transverse drift velocity which depends on ellipticity. We show that the kinetic energy of Rydberg electrons at the end of the laser pulse must be very small. This means the initial transverse velocity at the tunnel exit and the final drift velocity must cancel each other out. This is effectively a constraint on the initial condition of the electrons immediately after tunnel ionization. The colored regions show initial conditions of ionization phase and transverse velocity for which electrons end up in Rydberg states, depending on the ellipticity. The transverse velocity after tunnel ionization has a Gaussian distribution. Using this distribution, we show that the Rydberg yield displays a Gaussian dependence on ellipticity as well. Comparing experimental data with Monte Carlo simulations and the derived analytical formula, a very good agreement is found. We simulated the trajectory of electrons during the laser pulse and after, taking account of both the laser field and the ion potential. First, the electron oscillates in the laser field along the red trajectory. Once the laser pulse has passed, it stays on an elliptical orbit as expected. The electron always stays relatively far away from the ion. Its closest point is the tunnel exit. This is in fact the typical behavior for Rydberg trajectories. At least 80% of all Rydberg electrons always stay further away than their exit radius at ionization. Looking at the phase of the field at the moment of ionization, it is revealed that Rydberg electrons are ionized predominantly before the peak and therefore do not rescatter. In contrast, electrons involved in high harmonic generation are ionized after the peak of the electric field and therefore come back to the parent ion.